good, kitten internet. Today's the Thursday. Um, oh, this is embarrassing. I didn't even look to see what day of the week it was. Uh, phone says 15th. Obviously the 15th of April and totally not July. Uh, I am going on a walk, but this time a walk with a purpose. Uh, specifically, I have my backpack here with a pair of shoes in it. Purpose is really simple. I am walking to a UPS store so I can return the shoes. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Um, they were an Amazon purchase, so I could return it for free at any UPS store or Kohl's or lots of other style of places, but the UPS store is definitely the closest to my house. So that's what I'm doing. Um, if you can't tell from above my head, it is very overcast today. We had a bunch of thunderstorms come through last night. They were supposed to be stormy today, but apparently not. I'm thinking the front went through already. So yeah, it's a nice, decent temperature of 22 degrees. And one moment, had to let car through. Wanted to make sure that I wasn't distracted. I'm walking by the post office and the side of Madison, so. Um, let's see. Had a therapy appointment today, and I'm gonna be talking about that a bit later on in the video, sometime after I get back home, presumably. Yeah, that or else it'll end up being tomorrow, because I'm too exhausted to record anymore. My legs are not feeling very happy with me because I haven't done all that much walking the past couple of days. That's a problem. And yeah, my walking has been a bit more limited ever since uh, a few days ago I had that whole slept forever thing. Yeah, for some reason my legs have been unhappy with me ever since. I'm guessing that I injured my knees or ankles or shins or something, and that's the reason why I needed to sleep so much. <sighs> anyway, just thought I'd bust out the selfie stick. Ooh, selfie stick. And talk to you while I'm walking. Don't worry, I am paying attention to the roads. That's why I'm stopping every so often and taking a look around because I'm crossing a driveway or a road, but this road actually doesn't have too many roads or driveways to cross. So that's nice. Uh, maybe I will do the mental health update video tomorrow, just because this vlog may end up being a little on the long side. It's already three minutes long. Uh, not really a whole bunch going on. Um, yesterday was the upload of the finale of Wild Arms 2, although I actually finished the video the day before, because I'm operating one day ahead, or one day behind, take your pick. Um, basically, the day I record a video is the day, or I record a video the day before I upload, so this video that I'm talking to you with right now will actually go up on Friday. All right, intersection, one moment. There we go, and it's getting brighter. I really don't want to have to pull out my stupid hat, which I did bring, it's in my backpack, but I was hoping it'd be overcast enough where I wouldn't need it. So I really don't want to overheat at the same time. So to my right is a little daycare slash donkey daycare area. The daycare is actually where my vet used to be. I far preferred that location. So then I was able to just walk there. I mean, this is actually within range of me being able to walk with a cat for that matter. Um, not that my cats walk very well, just I can get a cart and move them that way. It's not a very long walk. It's what, let's see, I've been recording for four or five minutes. So it's maybe a 10 to 15 minute walk total. Ooh, my legs are very unhappy with me, and I'm only about, what, half to two-thirds of the way there? I may end up taking a bus to get back home. Uh, 
and walking from the nice commercial area to an industrial zone. There's like a garage over to my right. Automobile garage, that is. Automobile repair center, as it were. Um, the bicycle shop is over here as well. I do still kind of wish I would have bought an electric bike. But at the same time, I don't want to move an electric bike to Europe. That sounds obnoxious and painful. I'd rather just buy one in Europe. Because then, if I buy one locally, it'll actually comply with local safety standards. Whereas I don't know if an electric bike bought here in Wisconsin would comply with any European safety standards. <sighs> Crossing some roads, but there's zero traffic around. <sighs> How's it going with you all? Uh, I actually took a look at my viewership recently. Sorry, there's a car now behind me. Yeah, you can see it in the corner. Um, took a look at YouTube analytics and so on. Seems I have a decent number of people watching these. Okay. Hi. Um, I'm Aetherspoon, or Shivers, depending on where you've met me from. I vlog once or for about every day for about a month, once a year. I also play video games, and I also record videos of cats. That's pretty much it. All right, it's just about tunnel time. And I want to record this because I'm curious to see what the lighting levels end up looking like. So, I'm actually walking along a bicycle path right now. Uh, to my left, so that way because the you can tell camera's inverted or mirrored. Oh, bicyclist. Um, to my left is said bicycle shop. It's Eric with a K, so you know it's evil. Um... It's actually where I bought my bicycle at. Seem to be nice people. And yes, taking my bicycle would have been quite a bit more efficient and effective, but I haven't ridden my bike in such a long time that the tires are flat, so not happening. Ooh. Ah. My body is trying to tell me that I should have used the bathroom before leaving, except that I did. It's unfortunate. So I'm walking through the bicycle tunnel now. It's probably going to get a little noisy. Womp. Tunnel. So this is a bicycle tunnel that goes underneath the Madison Beltline. Uh, the Beltline is a highway, non-interstate, but a highway that goes around the southern part of Madison. Basically anything inside of the Beltline is what I consider the core of Madison. So for instance, when you're seeing me walk and talk by the vet earlier, I was within the Beltline area, even though I was still on, on the west side in suburbia. Um, anything outside of the Beltline area, like where I live, is, well, more suburban. Um, you don't really find too much in the way of commercial areas, major districts and so on. Oh. This area's actually changed. I haven't been over here. I didn't realize they actually changed this. Huh. Hold on. This was not an intersection before because the bike path ended here. I didn't realize they actually finished any of this. There's also like a little dirt area that you walk down there. Yeah. Bicycle path goes pretty long ways. I mean, this part of the bicycle bath is pretty resisting, but, huh, neat. Anyway, um, I'm probably going to stop recording in a bit because I'm going to start hitting more commercial areas. But, yeah, this part of the bicycle path didn't exist last time I walked over here, which was pre-pandemic, to be fair, but, you know, still, interesting. Uh... So the area in front of me is well known to have multiple AMPs, or Asian Massage Parlors, 
uh, usually a friend for an adult business. And it appears there's the new one. Okay, whatever. Uh, a van driving around from the Madison Police Department. You know, mostly unmarked white van. That sounds like a great thing. Um, yeah. So, yeah, might as well give you a So, this is a hotel. Uh, this is a Radisson. These are the previously mentioned spas slash massage parlors. There's one on the left, one on the right, and one over there. The one further away is the new one that I've never seen before. Midwest Vintage Buy Sell Trade. What? It's a terrible spot for, I mean, this is in the middle of nowhere, basically. You've got a couple of blocks before you hit a main road. So, okay. Car wash, still a hotel to the right. It's a relatively large hotel slash motel. Um, ooh, there's a restaurant that I've, I've only been inside of the restaurant once, but I've had food from them many times. It's called Nani. It is a dim sum place. They have an absolutely massive amount of food there, and it's the first place I've ever had durian at because they actually serve durian there. They serve, oh, so many forms of Asian food. Uh, there's another hotel there. There's another hotel behind the car wash. This is kind of where the hotels on the west side of Madison tend to be. Switch back to me. Um, yeah, this is where most of the hotels on the west side of Madison end up being. Um, there's more hotels that are immediately outside of the city limits for historic reasons that I don't really remember off the top of my head. <sighs> yeah, I'll go ahead and stop recording now. It's been 12 and a half minutes. See ya.